Now, my friend, how are you, buddy? Rand Peterson from the Cure Starts Now, one of my favourite people on the planet, mate. Uh, we're getting close to the convoy for the Cure. How are we looking for trucks and how are we looking for donations? Well, mate, I think we're, we're nudging the 10 grand mark now. We're, we're still a few weeks away, Mindy, so um, we're starting to, to get... Like, we've got Kent Battle from Nortrans um, leading uh, at this moment for lead truck. And for, for the largest fleet, we have uh, Follow Mont and Either Way Solutions, great supporters of the Cure Starts Now and, and supporters of our cancer families, Menti. So, um, yeah, buddy, um, we're, we're so looking forward to the day and we're so thankful to have you and Triple M aboard, buddy. Mate, it's great to be on board because last year was something very, very special. We had an incredible day. So many trucks and bikes shut down the city. I know we'll do it again. And for me personally, it was meeting young Slater, the little boy with the Slater Bug truck. We got to meet him just before the, uh, the the convoy took off. And he's an amazing little kid who's been through so much for such a young age. But it was the real reason why we do what we do with the Cure Starts Now. And Mr. assured, we've got a few other, um, Slater's got a few other apprentices who will be there on the day. And um, we, we've got some special families out there, a lot of whom Minty aren't really... They shun the limelight a bit, yes. but you know it's just it's just the one day. Like like our our truckies and, and bikey friends, they just take one morning off out of the entire year to get behind the convoy for the cure. And I just urge your listeners, you know, the, the mums and dads and, and carers give, doing the school run, jump on, have a look at convoy for the cure, based here in Townsville, doing astounding things nationally, and um, get on board, everyone. Not every day you see a big truckie or a biker with tears in their eyes. But we see a lot of that with the convoy. As we go through the streets of our city, the crowds out on the streets, they get a little emotional because they realise what they're doing. And, mate, it's been a tough start of the year, you yeah. know, by, by anyone's sort of um, litmus test. But there, there are cancer families in this city and in this region through the Burdekin and Charters Towers and up to Ingham who do it tough all the time and, and just cop it on the chin, as, as you have seen with the flooding stuff, many those who are uh, impacted most are generally the most resilient. And you're dealing with a pretty resilient uh, bunch with the Convoy for the Cure people. And I just, uh, again, buddy, I just urge all your listeners to get behind Convoy for the Cure. Even if you don't know anyone, jump on jump on board and just throw a couple of bucks toward a, a truck or a motorbike you like and um, just help us help others, Glenn. I love the way you do that. Get on board. If you're a truckie, your bike, you want to take part, get onto the website and get yourself signed up as well. It really is quite an incredible day. Convoy for the Cure is proudly supported by us at Triple M. Thank you, Ren, for the time. We'll chat again real soon. It's always a pleasure, Manny. Thanks, buddy. Music that makes you feel good and events that do the same. We are Triple M.